Hi, Christy Welch here with the OSU Extension Direct Marketing Program, and we're here for another edition of Marketing Matters. And joining me today is Rachel Taze with OFA. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Thanks, Thanks for, for having being me here today. And um, I understand that you have a new program that you guys are getting ready to launch or just recently launched. Tell yeah. us about that. So uh, in my work with beginning farmers, one of the major issues is access to land. And they were having trouble, they are having trouble finding good, sustainable farmland that they can um, affordably lease or cooperate with another farmer or buy. Um, and so using national models, we created Heartland Farm Link. And this is a land linking site where farmers can list their properties and beginning farmers can list their opportunity, such as their training and what they're looking for, and then they can search each other to find those links that are going to make land transfer possible. And you know, uh, Rachel, there's a lot of talk around the country about, you know, the average age of a farmer in this country is pushing 60 years old. Yep. Um, and so with the really intensive capital needed to become a new farmer, it can be a real challenge for new and beginning farmers. Yeah, absolutely. And what we're finding is there are a lot of OFA members who don't, who have existing sustainable farms or organic farms, and they don't have a person in line to inherit that farm or even maybe maybe a farm manager who wants to manage it after the, the farmer wants to retire. So our hope is that by listing these in a more public and searchable way, that people can find each other and begin to uh, develop the relationships and the legal entities and structures that they need to make transfers happen. That's really exciting. And you know, we don't make any more farmland here in this country. As a matter of mm -hmm. fact, as you know, we're losing farmland. Yeah. Um, rapidly not only here in Ohio but around the country and mm -hmm. so you know we work with a lot of producers certified or not and it seems to me that that's really a common thread as there's no really uh, next generation that's looking to take on that farming operation. Yeah and so we've done a lot of education at OFA about training for beginning farmers and that's all fine and good but if they can't afford or find usable farmland that that really meets their needs then then, then the farm transfers don't happen. So that's the point of Heartland Farm Link. It's not meant to replace like a real estate service, mm -hmm. but hopefully to kind of preempt people listing their farmland. Because often, like you alluded to, when you list farmland for sale, it's bought by developers. Mm -hmm. And a lot of farmers who spent their lives um, adding infrastructure and making investments in the soil health and things like that don't want to see it just go to another development. I would agree with that. And of course, it comes back to also so not um, just finding that piece of ground, but developing those relationships. And I think yeah. uh, just from what I've seen, uh, Heartland Farm Lake may be able to help with beginning development of those relationships. So Absolutely. we thank you for being here today. If you'd like more information, um, you can go to the link on the bottom of the screen here, heartlandfarmlink.org, and learn more information. Thank you, Rachel. Thanks for having me.